All right. Uh, <clears throat> I uh, am in the process of moving right now, but I have still haven't find, found a fucking place. Didn't realize how expensive it was. Thousand dollars to live in a place run down with rats. Uh, so I'm hopefully looking at a place next week that uh, will be good. Uh, but right now, I'm here. Um, squatting for a second for a little while until I can find my place. And all I have the game with right now is my shield tablet. Everything else is in storage. This I got a free iPad uh, too. So yeah, somebody upgraded. I got theirs. And my phone is making noises. So this is my new phone. It's the Motorola Droid Turbo 1, not the 2. Uh, just Needed. I wanted an upgrade in power, and so I got it. And it has a 4K camera, so this is my first 4K video on uh, on my channel. And um, yeah, so I'm home by myself for now, and I'm trying to do videos where I speak. So seeing as there's nobody here, and I feel more comfortable when there's nobody in the house when I speak, why not do it now? But uh, I don't even know why I put this here. I simply am just doing a video. I turned the friggin' camera on. I don't even know what this video is about. Uh, but yeah, this is... Well, what the hell? This is uh, Marshmallow uh, on the Shield tablet uh, that was pulled. <laughs> the update was pulled because of the Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi works fine for me. Uh, everything's good. So far, I have it all themed using... Um, layers manager um, for marshmallow or whatever and I'm using the spectrum theme thing so it's this little theme engine you can change the different styles and things like that um, yeah so that's that and I also have uh, exposed framework on here so I kind of adjusted the, the colors of the navigation keys fun um, and I have a little charger, portable charger, just so I can use it while it's charging. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, do a lot of, apparently a lot of gameplays on my um, Motorola Droid Turbo. Um, what was I gonna say? I completely forgot. Um, I am enjoying the phone though. I like the screen, it's amazing. Uh, the only thing I don't like is it doesn't have the SD card, and it doesn't have, what, a, a, a changeable battery, which is why I got this. Um, but it has more storage than my last phone, and it's been fine. Um, load it up with Google Play Music and download a whole bunch of offline music, and I loaded up... Um, what is it? Uh, Viper for Android. Well, not it's Palm 3, but it's Viper for Android technically. And it sounds really good. And it's working a lot better than it did on my Galaxy S4. And the great thing is that my phone is unlocked, unlike my Galaxy S4, which could not be unlocked. And now I am running CM12, which is surprisingly stable. I've never used a custom, a custom ROM that has actually been stable. They normally crash and they end up going back to stock and blah, blah, blah. But the CM12.1 is working great. So it's Lollipop. There's no Marshmallow yet. But um, honestly, the only thing I really want from Marshmallow is the, uh, the uh, integrated storage thing or whatever. So you could use an SD card as internal memory, which is what I'm doing with this. And it works really well few few little issues though um, and I can't even remember what they are but I know they exist other than that uh, phones working great um, got to load it up with some ROMs because I'm using it as also a portable gaming device I was actually thinking about grabbing a what the fuck do you call those things uh, G GPXD something it's that thing that looks like a 3DS. But then I thought, why don't I just upgrade my phone and get, like, the MOGA, 
right now. I I got a new Moga. They they dropped the price, so I got the Moga fucking hero, whatever that is. The smaller one, so it could be a little more portable. And I figured I'd load that up with ROMs and games and things. And have a little more storage on my phone, and it seems to be working out well. So plus it has the the quad HD uh, display, so it looks really nice on that. And uh, yeah, so I can play games while I'm taking a shit, and uh, that's excellent. Uh, my <clears throat> my unfortunately my PC is locked up in the in, in the basement in storage, and it is. You know, it's been it's been cooling down for a while. And what else? So yeah, I can't game stream or anything except for with uh, I do I think I have another free uh got another free grid subscription. <laughs> I don't know if it's still active. I, I it's hard to use with the internet I have here. Uh it's possible, but it's kind of annoying. And all I have is a Bluetooth controller and that kinda makes it worse. So let's see if I can dig up my um shield controller, but I have the uh, the MOGA, so it's Bluetooth and tends to cause problems with Wi-Fi, and it's annoying because I have Bluetooth headphones, and if I pair up both, there's a bad lag, and yeah. So, then of course I have my, my new iPad 2 here, it's not jailbroken or anything like that, um, but here it is, yay, iPad 2. Uh, the only thing I really wanted this for was the music applications, because I play guitar, and iOS does have some really nice music applications, so I have Amplitude and GarageBand and stuff like that. And I threw some games on here. The only There was one game here that I really like is um, that they don't have on Android. I wish they would port it. AG Drive. Uh, a lot of people don't seem to like the controls on it. It took a little while getting used to, and helped to upgrade my craft and everything, but it, it was fine. Uh, controls work just fine, and the graphics are fucking amazing on that game. I couldn't believe how good the, that looked, especially for an iPad 2. Um, but you do notice the aliasing. But that's about it. Um, game looks great, even on the iPad 2. Works great. Um, it's not 60 frames per second or anything. I think it is on, on um, newer iPads. Other than that, uh, iPad, the iPad 2 running iOS 9 is kind of shitty. Um, a lot of apps are laggy, and it's, it was supposed to be better. Uh, I think Apple is being, uh, they have a class action lawsuit about that thing there, or whatever. But whatever, who cares? Uh, they also have some other issues. Oh yeah, that's right, they were, uh, basically punishing people for, for using other people to fix their devices, so if they have a, they had a screen issue, their screen broke, and they went and, and had it fixed by somebody else. They uh, basically bricked their device to the point where you can't bring it back from the dead, and they confirmed that this was their you know, something they did. So that's very nice of you, Apple. You fucking pieces of shit. Thank you. Anyways, <laughs> um. So that's uh, about all I can say right now. I just kind of wanted to do a, vo uh, a, a vocal, more vocal video. So I figured while I'm here alone, you know, I'd feel more comfortable doing it that way. So hopefully I get my place soon and I can do more of these. And uh, thank you for watching.